So what I have here is one of our Fab2 Pros. Um, I have this contraption so that you can actually see a camera feed of the screen, uh, and so that's why I'm tethered. Um, so we switch that over. Yeah, there we go. So I want to just quick, quickly walk you through a couple of demos um, running live on stage. So the first experience is uh, an out-of-the-box app to help introduce people to the new functionality of their new phone. And so as you can see here, what it's doing is that it's building a point cloud of the stage in front of us. And as I walk around, you can see it recognizes the 3D shapes around it. It's mostly a flat stage, so there's a flat floor here. And we're visited by some friends. It transforms the world into a fully virtual space and begins to grow the life around it. And if I want to, I can get up and close, look at all the detail of the flowers and rocks. So that's just a very simple experience, but you can see when you combine all the elements together, when you combine motion tracking with depth sensing and the AR pass-through capabilities, you can actually craft really rich and interesting experiences uh, for people. Now, of course there's things like games, but uh, let me show you something that uh, uh, we believe is actually very useful to simply extend the capabilities of your camera. So as we talked about being able to measure the space of your environment, to be able to know how big a bed will fit or a bedroom will fit, wouldn't it be great if the camera that you already have in your pocket was able to not only take pictures, but could actually measure the distance to things? And so if I wanted to, uh, say, measure the width of this cabinet here, you can see that there's this green reticle on the screen. And what it does is basically it's searching for surfaces. Uh, and so if I actually get close to this, the edge of this cabinet, it'll snap. You see the green line comes up? If I get to this side, it'll snap as well. So if I just want to measure, I'll put a marker there, and marker there. Oh, oh. ah, sorry, let me do it again. Okay, there we go. So about one foot, five inches. And if I wanted to switch to metric units, I just click that and it's about 43 centimeters. So this is a really simple tool. Um, if we wanted to uh, measure the heights of a, from the floor to the ceiling, uh, we don't have to go searching for measuring tape or uh, digging for a ladder and potentially putting ourselves in danger. Uh, we can actually just point at the ceiling and point at the floor and simply go to quick height check on our house. Now the other cool thing about this is that it's not just a, uh, since we're a full 3D device doing 3D tracking, you're not limited to just uh, one dimensional measurements. But we can say, well, let's see if we can fit in a bigger table here. And let's make it a little bit bigger, like this. And I come around, it'll close off the area. But because it's 3D, if I want to see how big of a table will actually fit here. Ah, there we go. There we go. Ah, OK. So you can actually see it's a full 3D volume. Um, and so I can simply take a picture of this, like this, as well as generate blueprints. And if I go to our measurements gallery, we can see it stores it to our gallery, and you can take this to the, the, the bookshelf store or to IKEA or the container store to see if it will work. Uh, there you go. 
I want to show you. So they have an exhibit which allows you to explore the history of dinosaurs and see the evolution of them uh, that the modern day bird is actually a, a descendant of the dinosaurs. So what we have here is a, a collection of dinosaurs that we can visualize. And the fun thing is that we can actually place them here on the stage. We have a velociraptor there. If I want to see uh, compared to one of the other dinosaurs, I place him there. And we can see the different animals there on stage with us. And you can see the different sizes uh, and learn a little bit about each one. So if I tap on this plus icon, it will pause the dinosaur and I'll get these info card plus boxes. And when I plus on, pu press on them, I get a little bit of information so I can learn about these in physical, true physical size and get up close to each of the different components. So let me try one more thing which is sort of fun, is so that we can put big dinosaurs down too. There you go. So that's a Tyrannosaurus rex, but you can see in the upper right, uh, it says he's a 20% size. So the stage is pretty big, so we can actually try to get him full size here, like this. Hey, guy. You can take a look at his teeth and respond. There you go. <laughs> so this is just another example.